The Chinese company SAP Health is almost trading at its all-time lows and the stock price has fallen more than 90%. Welcome to another video where I interviewed the CFO of SAP Health in Beijing during my last trip. Um, if you want to see the full video, you can either watch it bit by bit here on the channel or join my Patreon where there is this one hour interview in one big piece and you can watch it there and actually also get additional insight. For example, my takes about the last earnings and so on. But now in this video, we'll talk a little bit about how to think of SAP Health and, you know, maybe see it maybe as the Fitbit or the Garmin or the Apple of China. But should we rather think about SAP Health like something like the Philips or the Siemens Health of China? Let's find out. Investments or is it, uh, do you have like a, a venture arm or uh, how do you decide what kind of services you're launching or is this all following a bigger plan already who's kind of you know uh, help us to understand how is SAP Health thinking about um, uh, you know saying what is part of the ecosystem and what needs to be developed or not like we we, we do have a, a a strategy and but 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 but, but uh, excuse me i couldn't elaborate too much on sure. uh, on that today uh, but we do have a strategy which we look at the different life cycles of a person, a human being. Right? Okay. For example, you have the prevention part, which is more on the band and watch part. Mm -hmm. You have the treatment part, which is more on the MRI. And you have even after that, you have the recover part, which is like home monitoring devices, mm -hmm. which after you dismissed from the hospital, you can use those to man uh, monitor your vitals at home. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So we actually look at the consumer's journey in such a way and we want to be in every single part of that consumer's journey. And in the end, you own all this data, mm -hmm. not us, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. But we help you to provide convenience to you on uh, uh, managing and helping you to in improve your health better, mm -hmm. right? So, 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 so I think the watch and band and TWS headphones and all those form factors, which I think we're only at the start of that. I mean, I can, uh, that's why I'm saying we're, we're, we're a startup, right? Mm -hmm. we're, 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 we're scale up, for example. Uh, so, so that's what I'm saying. Uh, we're, we're, we're at this moment more in the prevention part, whereby we would want to offer uh, services and hardwares uh, to help you to sleep better, rest better, train better mm -hmm. and uh, get healthier, mm -hmm. right? And we do have different journeys, uh, for example, our investments on the MRI, which is managed by our venture. We have a venture fund, right? Okay. Uh, 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 to, 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 to look at investments on the different part of the journey, mm -hmm. because in the end, I want to create a pillar yeah. of everything which can cover the consumer's full journey, mm -hmm. right? But we also recognized that we cannot be everywhere. Otherwise, we are actually mm -hmm. scatter ourselves too thin, yeah. right? So, so what we're trying to focus at this moment is prevention. But then all the other part of the journey, we use kind of uh, uh, minority investments to cover that. Okay. But then at certain moment in time, and, and our algorithm team is trying to create a holistic journey okay. for a consumer yeah. so that you, that's what you, why you, you, you heard me talking about Zap Coach, Zap Aura, and Zap Clarity, et cetera, et cetera. We'll use all those different pillars at certain moment in time when we're ready, we're going to make a complete offering mm -hmm. on that. So we're actually building on um, piece mills, mm -hmm. but at certain moment, we're trying to actually make a, comp a holistic offering on that. Right. So. You, you're trying to do many, many different things and uh, you're not alone in this market, right? Uh, there's big companies like, you know, in, uh, like Philips or, you know, Siemens, which are in the healthcare market. And then there is, on the other hand, on the fitness side, there's, of course, the other watchmakers. There's Fitbit, which is bought by Google, right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, help us to understand, like... Uh, SAP, why SAP Health? Where does it stand there in this whole uh, thing uh, as a small company, right? I think we stand a good chance. So that's why we're try we're not trying to conquer the whole journey right now. We're trying to actually be the star of a small part of this journey first, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then gradually uh, we're actually 
uh, uh, moving towards the other parts, mm -hmm. right? So that's why even if, so, so basically, if you look at our m &A trajectory, we're also doing Botan acquisitions, but then on those MRI and fetched uh, uh, hardcore medical devices, we do it through an investment, mm -hmm. right? So we have a clear picture on what we do in-house, what we do through investment, and what we do at what time, mm -hmm. right? So, uh, so, so there's a clear strategy and roadmap on that, mm -hmm. right? But obviously, on the prevention, on the smartwatch uh, and the band part, we believe at this moment there's still a lot of potential for us to conquer. Okay. And if we conquer that, so it's uh, not a mature market yet. No, it, for sure not. Yeah. Okay. So, 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 number one is to conquer that market, and from that market, if we conquer, if we become number one or number two, we can gradually shift towards the other uh, part of the journey. Okay. All right. Let's talk a bit about the problems and the downsides. Uh, uh, first, before we talk about the stock, but maybe on the financial side, um, all of this requires investment and uh, the, uh, let's say there have been many, many challenges on the macro side as well. And um, so is the company currently in trouble financially? I don't think so. I think uh, uh, I have to kept on talking this uh, in our investment course as well. Uh, yeah, uh, for sure, uh, the, 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 if you look at our 2022 full year result, we have uh, cash, which is as much as 150 million ballpark uh, dollars. Uh, and then our market cap at this moment, I think it's sub 100 million or just around that ballpark. So, so I think uh, 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 what we're trying to do here is to uh, make sure that the company, as I said at the beginning of the, the, the meeting, right, we're trying to, uh, we're in a transformation phase, mm -hmm. right? We're actually transforming ourselves from Xiaomi uh, uh, majority into our Amazfit majority uh, revenue mm -hmm. uh, mix, mm -hmm. right? And in this journey, we're also trying to add different functionalities and services and product offerings to it mm -hmm. so that uh, we're we're uh, able to structurally transforming the company from uh, more dependent on Xiaomi rather than to a self-surviving uh, type of company, mm -hmm. which is more de dependent on a maze fit uh, mm -hmm. uh, brand sales. Mm -hmm. right? So that's the journey we're going through. I think where uh, it has to be. That's why also the stock uh, or the performance coupled with uh, all the geopolitical risks and macro mm -hmm. uh, uh, difficulties, COVID, etc., uh, in 2022 was kind of disappointing, mm -hmm. right? But I think we're going through that uh, uh, journey right now. Uh, if you uh, look at a few KPIs I just mentioned, inventories kept on going down to a healthy level, uh, cost is well under control and we're trying to bring down that cost mm -hmm. and we're focusing on profitability, we're actually trying to, uh, to have a gross margin uh, generated, a higher gross margin generated more by uh, uh, product mix as well as retail channel mix. Uh, so that uh, uh, we are able to turn this company uh, in, uh, to bring this company back to profitability more on um, uh, rely on self branded products. Uh, I think that would mark the end of this so-called transformation journey, and I, I, I think we're very close to the end of it. Right? At least we see the the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, uh, and uh, if we reach there. Uh, I think we're, we we should be in a very comfortable place, right? Because uh, I I don't know like um, maybe retail investors watching watching this, uh, which are not uh, in a situation to fully understand financials of a company, they might be worrying that uh, the stock price uh, is reflecting the health of the company. So this is why I'm, I'm wondering, like, what is your view as somebody who's, uh, I think your daily business is about mm -hmm. deciding mm -hmm. where to invest the money or uh, mm -hmm. bringing the company to a health position. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you personally feel about, um, I, I don't know, do you watch the stock at all? What, what, what kind of a role does it play? Because if you're just watching the stock price as an outside person who does not have your knowledge of what's going on in the company inside, you would think that this company is uh, very close to uh, shutting down its business, right? No, correct. No, so, so, so I, I, I cannot deny on that. Yes, and we watch closely on the, the, the share uh, uh, price movement. And as I said, I think, I think the share price movement uh, 
if you ask me, obviously I'm biased, uh, is, is, is very much hampered by uh, a few things.